Jeremiah Denton, we've talked about, wrote a book called When Hell Was in Session. He was the highest American ranking officer captured by the North Vietnamese. Man, he struggled and struggled. He fought for his country. He loved his country. And in some ways, they abandoned him. He was starved to death. He's the guy that I told you was starved to death. And then finally, when he was almost at his wit's end, they would slide a plate of human feces under the door just when he thought he was going to receive help. And yet, he survives the appeal. He survives the prison camp. And he writes something amazing in this hellish, hellish hole. He says, if it was not for God, or if it weren't for the love of Christ, we could never have survived. Every boy I related to who was able to conquer this persecution had one thing in common. Faith in God's ability to bring about good. Oh yeah, that's the key to your survival too. And then in Vietnam, on Easter of 1969, this POW writes a wonderful poem. And he says, as Mary looked up to Jesus on the cross, she began to speak. And he writes, the soldiers stare, then drift away. Young John finds nothing he can say. The veil is vent, the deed is done, and Mary holds her only son. His limbs grow stiff, the night grows cold, but naught can lose that mother's hold. Her gentle, anguished eyes seem blind. Who knows what thoughts run through her mind? Perhaps she thinks of last week's psalm with cheering thousands offering alms, or dreams of Cana on that day. She nagged him till she got her way. Her face shows grief, but not despair. Her head, though bowed, has faith to spare. For even now she could suppose his thorns might somehow yield a rose. Her life with him was full of signs that God writes straight with crooked lines. Dark clouds can hide the rising sun and all seem lost when all is one.